Yep, you seen the title in the thumbnail. It says it all. We're going to make it easy for you today with this slow cooker recipe. I'm going to show you guys how to make chicken and gravy. Man, it's delicious. Get in your kitchen. Let's go. So we're going to do a quick rundown of today's recipe. Right here we have our chicken breast. We have three boneless chicken breasts, chicken broth, butter, flour, onion powder, some oregano, thyme, and parsley in this dish here. We have some onion powder, smoked paprika, chicken bouillon, more smoked paprika, more garlic powder, black pepper, seasoned salt, and a tablespoon of olive oil. So, that's all you need, guys. Let's get to it. All right, so we're just gonna quickly create our seasoned blend for our chicken. So right here, we have our garlic powder. We're gonna add our smoked paprika, our seasoned salt, and our black pepper. And we're just gonna give that a mix. All right, just like that. We're gonna move this out the way. Bring over our chicken breast. We're gonna take our olive oil, drizzle it over our chicken like this. Take that seasoned blend, add it here. And we're gonna get this baby mixed up real good. Just like that. Let's go ahead and continue. All right, so now we're at our cooktop. We're gonna melt our butter. We're gonna do this over medium heat. All right, once your butter has melted, you wanna add your flour, get it whisked in. And you wanna stir this in for about two minutes. All right, after that two minutes, you wanna slowly add about two cups of your chicken broth, slowly. You wanna to continue to get that mixed in. Now, if you got some cornstarch, you wanna whisk in like a tablespoon of cornstarch. I don't have any cornstarch, so I'ma whisk in another two tablespoons of flour along with the last cup of chicken broth. All right, so we're gonna come behind that with the remainder of our dry ingredients. We got our chicken bouillon here, our smoked paprika, thyme, parsley, and oregano, onion powder, and garlic powder. And we're gonna continue to let this simmer until it thickens up. All right, so our sauce has thickened. Make sure you mix this well to remove all the lumps, if any. Let's check our consistency. Guys, look at that. This is how we want it. We want it to be thickened just like that. All right, and add some salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna taste this to make sure that we're right on salt. Oh man, we are right on salt. All right, so we're gonna turn off our cooktop and let's head over to our slow cook. All right, so now we're at our crock pot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add our chicken pieces, or chicken breasts, rather. We're gonna take our flour mixture, and we're just gonna pour it here over our chicken like this. I'm gonna cover this up. We're gonna let this cook on low for four to five hours. Then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next, all right? So let this baby cook for four to five hours and we're coming right back. All right guys, we're four and a half hours in. We're gonna do a check on our chicken, make sure it's good enough or tender enough, should I say, to shred. We're gonna go in with two forks. We're gonna do it right here in the, in the crock pot. Oh yeah, this, this baby's good enough to shred. So we're gonna start shredding that baby. Oh, look at that, tender enough to shred. Guys, look at that right there. All right, so once we finish getting it all shredded, we're gonna cover it up, back up. We're gonna let it cook for another 20 minutes, and then we're gonna be ready for quality control, all right? Let's get this covered back up. 20 more minutes, and we're coming right back. All right, guys, we're 20 minutes in. Take a look at what we have right here. 
Man, this looks delicious. All right, that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to our cutting board, get this baby plated up so we can jump into quality control. And there you have it guys, chicken and gravy in the slow cooker. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and jump into quality control because we have waited four and a half hours for this. Let's go. All right, we back in here, quality control. Let's bring this chicken and gravy to the front of the congregation. Man, take a look at that. Man, whoo. Let's go ahead without further ado. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. And I'm pairing mine with some rice. You could do mashed potatoes all up to you guys. Whatever you decide you want to do, I like rice with mine better. Man, look at that. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. This is unbelievably good. Is unbelievably a word? I think so. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, man. And guess what? I don't have to add no additional salt or pepper to it. Mm. Oh. Guys, you definitely need to try this. Move this up on your recipe list from All Wings Everything. All right, man, this is delicious. Mm, mm, mm. I'm dropping it on myself, so it's time for me to go. So until then, y'all already know who I am. All Wings Everything, and remember, him not a chef. He just cook a lot, and now I'm out. Peace.